Let's find the number of lone pairs for HCl. This is hydrogen chloride. When it's in water, we call it hydrochloric acid. So the first thing we need is a valid Lewis structure for HCl right here. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure for HCl, there's a link in the description and at the end of the video. So when we look at HCl, we see we have one, two, three pairs of electrons that aren't involved in chemical bonds. They're not between atoms. So these are the lone pairs for HCl. And we have one, two, three lone pairs for HCl. For the pair of electrons that's between the hydrogen and the chlorine, that's covalently shared. This is a bonded pair of electrons. It's shared, it forms the chemical bond. But these are the lone pairs for HCl. Sometimes we'll represent the bonded pair as a line to show that the electrons are shared. So in the bonded pair, this represents two electrons shared between the hydrogen and the chlorine in a chemical bond. So in answer to our question, HCl has one, two, three lone pairs, and then it has one bonded pair of electrons. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.